Okay, welcome back to another episode. I forgot that we had this Hadal core. I think we got that when we were under the water. I went under there to get the two fish, but I picked that up while I was there. That's part of the game. When you do one thing, you grab the other stuff right in the area of that. Okay, so we'll sell that for 93,000. That puts me over a million, which should get me the next milestone. Journey milestone accomplished. Investor earned 1,054,121 units. We're almost halfway to getting what we wanted. I like the fighters. All right. Um, let's add... For the hyperdrive, I click on that, put the warp cell in there. And then we'll go out, hit X, and go to a new system. Let's see. Viking and Viking. So we'll look for something other than the Viking. That's where we were. Let's head the other way. G6 and Corvax. Let's go there. Ancient Bones. Activated copper, we need that for the ship. All right, first thing I do whenever I go to a system is I go to the space station. So I'll answer that message once I get in the space station. Because before I do anything, I like to get this on my teleporter. Visit a space station is get another inventory slot, especially early on when I'm short on inventory slots. I try to fill these out in boxes, by the way. It may cost 30,000, but the extra slot lets me store stuff. Actually, let's go see what type of multi-tool here and often the Corvax have good scanner upgrades usually the upgrades are similar to yeah I'm surprised they're more military here okay X F Incoming transmission source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. Um, okay, I identify myself. You left me. Why did you... Well, I didn't leave him, so I'll tell him I don't understand. Oh, whoa. That's a, um, that's another exotic. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd, just like the others, ask who you were speaking to. There's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Yep, that's an exotic. Let's 
have a look. better. I don't, I, I do have a shield upgrade, but he has a shield upgrade in his. So the one I have that's broken is better. But his is worth 20 million and I have more slots once I clear the stuff out. See, 24 out of 58 unbroken. 20 out of 24 here. But let's, let's have a look at it. Okay, so there you see the symbols for the exotic. A nice exotic. Lower left-hand corner is where the symbols are. Oh, in this system, let's name the system. So... I'll call it Euclid. Exotic DG. That ought to clue you that it has an exotic here. to that and it's a free landing so I'll take it. Remember you can use this to call a starship for one navigation data. One of eight. you call your ship it'll you won't be able to uh, well yeah you'll be able to call it still but in any case I know I'm gonna want to sort inventory um, I'm going to claim the ship. I'll show you about reclaiming wrecked ships in a little bit. Buildings and other sites, you can often find um, very technology. So I always pick that up. You see right here? Always look for these. They're not always there, but almost always you'll find them. So, I pick them up incidentally to doing other things. And they're worth like 25,000 each. So, the buried tech, you see, I actually 52,000 each. For now, I'm gonna put that in the starship. Okay. We're going to repair that ship and we're going to fly it to the space station. 
sodium 5 and chromatic metal 5. So it's good to have sodium and chromatic metal on hand. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Extract records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Advanced mining laser, which I have no room for in my current multi-tool. So we might as well go to the log and unpin the formula for now. This I'm going to dismantle because I'm going to sell... Yeah, this is his ship. So dismantle. Okay. I need metal plating and hermetic seal to fix the pulse engine. So, metal plating, hermetic seal, 30 condensed carbon. The metal plating is ferrite. And I need 50 pure ferrite for the launch thruster. All right, the launch thruster, dihydrate, uh, um, dihydrogen jelly, 50 pure ferrite. All right, we have no shield, but we're just gonna fly. We'll take our chances. That's what we're gonna do. There. Earn 1,293,737 units. Where'd I get that money from? I'm not gonna answer that until I finish with this. The symbol is where the entrance is, so if you don't see it, you know it's exactly on the other side there. Okay, you, you could double check which ship you're using by looking at the picture there. Okay, I have nothing on the ship that I'm worried about losing. E. Drones deploy. Claim scrap worth 925,000 units. Claim scrap. See, it gave me back the, um, the other ship. Let's sell. I'll show you what they gave me. Okay, offer trade. We need platinum. We need 175 platinum for repairing stuff. All right, the recycled circuitry sells for 523,000. The spool of nano cables that we got from um, 
selling the wreck of the ship is three hundred ninety-four thousand one hundred and ninety-seven. They also give these upgrades, which the Class C, I'm not really interested in them. I'll sell them for nanites and that will also keep inventory. So you go to this guy next to where you get the equipment slots. Purchase upgrade modules, then click sell, and I get nanites from those, about a hundred. I don't want this ship either. Journey milestone accomplished. Earn 1,891,919 units. Earn two million magnate ten stars two million two hundred eighty six thousand one hundred and sixteen units. But now I don't want to keep on getting the radiant pillar. We're gonna sell all this. Well, most of this. Let's clear inventory spots. So you see the radiant pillars up there. That's worth three million. Claim scrap worth three million. Just so you see what I got, I got these C upgrades and I got the spool of nano cables and the indium scraps. We're going to sell the web, the upgrades in the same shop for nanites. Purchase, then click sell. We're over a thousand nanites. That's pretty nice, that black one. That was nice. Now let's go buy the, um, um, multi-tool. Multi-tool is in Opcog Prime. All right, S-Class. I'm just gonna exchange the multi-tools. And now I'll put the um, tech back on my new multi-tool. Now, watch what I do here. The scanner range is 308. If I put this, well, this won't add to the range, but you see the percent is seven, oh yeah, 32%. 7570 on fauna, 9633. Now, you see what happened? The scan radius went up and 12,000% 12, 12, on the mineral, 9,000 on the fauna using the um, powered slot. So you see 538, 
673 on the powered slots. 10,000 on the flora, almost 10,000% on the mineral. Oh yeah. Just with the two upgrades on the powered slots, we'll be racking in a lot of money. Terrain manipulator. Um, I'll put my boat caster, but this has the mining beam. Now, so I don't forget the advanced mining laser. Okay, and I do believe I will end the episode here. Next episode, I expect to go on the anomaly. 